my fellow Dream Walkers, to another episode of Laugh from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So, this morning, after getting off my fifth shift in the past six nights, we decided to treat ourselves to some McDonald's breakfast, where, once again, I got a Happy Meal. And, just like last week, with it, the latest Squishmallow Happy Meal toy. And speaking of that previous week, we're gonna flash back to the time when I mentioned this ad. I saw an ad that Domino's had a customer appreciation day on August 15th. Well, I made my way to that specific Domino's earlier today, saw that the deal here was actually valid, but just witnessed how busy and jam-packed the actual store was, and decided that this deal just wasn't worth the wait. But guys, I did stick around a little bit, cause for the first time in a long while, I was actually able to have some fun dancing with this inflatable tube man outside the Domino's. And speaking of other happy events of the day, we actually have several birthday greetings for you guys this evening. Starting out with a birthday greeting to one of my indoor volleyball friends who I haven't played alongside with since before the pandemic. This birthday shout out goes out to you Dulce. Happy birthday Dulce. We next got a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I used to go to dance school with back when we were younger. This birthday greeting goes out to you Jenna. Happy birthday Jenna. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my university friends who I met back in my Ryerson days. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Gerard. Happy birthday, Gerard. Also, we got a birthday greeting to one of my physician assistant friends who I used to work with back at the hospital several years ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Syra. Happy birthday, Syra. Up next, a birthday shout out to a friend that used to be a resident at the hospital that I work with and a person that I used to play beach volleyball with on the beaches of Ash Bridges. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Amelie. Happy birthday, Amelie. And last but not least, we got a belated birthday shout out to one of my family friends who has actually made a cameo in a previous Laugh From Last Week episode. This belated birthday shout out goes out to you, Babao. Happy birthday, Babao. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So, starting off today, getting only five and a half hours of sleep in, we made our way to the local LCBO to get this treat. For those guys that remember Recess, that Disney show, on those Saturday mornings, look at the wine that I found. Woo! Spinelli! Before heading to my parents' place with my flutter board for the reason that dates back to last week. I guess sometime soon, I'm really hoping that I'll go back home to visit them so that I can try this new hot tub of theirs as well. And after meeting up with the barbecue and the barbecue chef, Tito Eddie, he told me to check out something that was sort of an appetizer right before we had our lunch. What time's lunch, Dad? Uh, one o'clock. One o'clock after we? After you. Do what? You sauna. Sauna? sauna. You mean this thing? Yeah. <laughs> okay, try to check the temperature. Check the temperature. So we slowly took the covers off to finally reveal what this new attraction was in the backyard. And guys, after trying out this new toy... Oh! The nice! It's nice! Having some delicious appetizers and sipping on some wine here... As if I was at an all-inclusive resort... I broke out the Rubik's Cube to see if I can solve it while relaxing in the new spa. What do you know about solving a Rubik's Cube? into to Eddie's hot tub, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, after having a nice backyard patio lunch with the parents... Nika, you're missing out. 
Okay. Let's make a cheers to Nika. Cheers, Nick. Cheers, Nika. Cheers. Good health, good life. Enjoy life. Enjoy. Tito Eddie and I spent some father and son bonding time together while relaxing in the hot tub. But yeah, now being back in Scarborough, after catching this beautiful sunset from the condo looking towards the west, we just have a quick birthday greeting to a friend who I admire for their singing talent from the first time I saw him doing a Beyonce set at Super Skills. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Paul. Happy birthday, Paul. I'm hoping that you and your friends and family members at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. This morning after sleeping less than six hours, I woke up early today in order to take this nice, beautiful, urban, scenic commute. In order to drive the wife to her day shift. Bradley chose to use makeup to Before stopping by here for the first time in a long while. At the beautiful beaches here at Ashbridges Bay. To get a nice little morning walk on. Anyways, while we're here, we might as well do our birthday greetings of the day. Starting out with a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering from my HT days. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Joanna. Happy birthday, Joanna. We've also got a birthday shout out to a co-worker of mine who I hang out outside of work and who has made several cameos in previous Live From Last Week episodes. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kennedy. Happy birthday, Kennedy. I'm hoping that my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Now, on to other celebrations, just like how I've done in years past. Today, August 17th, a &W has this promotional fundraiser called Burgers to Beat MS, where $2 for every teen burger sold today will go to support Canadians living with MS. Here we are at A&W to support the Burgers to Beat MS fundraiser and got my teen burger here. So this one's for you, Shelby, supporting the cause. And on that note, Shelby, hope you're doing well and keeping up your efforts in bringing awareness to this disease. Anyways, guys, it's time to go back home. Enjoy this teen burger. Get ready to go in for my night shift tonight, and I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. Post shift after running into this guy on the motorcycle during my commute home. Yo, check out who I ran into for the first time since the AEW event in Hamilton. What up, what up? Yo, I'm gonna take this guy to a wrestling event in downtown Toronto sometime soon. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> then getting back to the condo to nap for two to three hours after work. Then finding this temporary renovation walkway at the condo, which had tempted me to do a fashion show catwalk until my phone just couldn't handle it. I'm currently meeting up with somebody that you've seen in a previous Laugh From Last Week episode. The one, the only, my buddy Scott. I said, look for the only guy wearing sunglasses when it's raining outside. <laughs> <laughs> Scott! That time we'll see, buddy. <laughs> to go to the Metro Toronto Convention Center with my fitness theme installing muscles t-shirt here and check out the 2023 version of the Canada Fitness Professionals Convention aka the 2023 CanFit Pro Convention.
after a fun filled day out with my buddy Scott. Yo, first freebie of the day. Cheers, Scott. <laughs> <Cheers, buddy. laughs> oh my god. Where he egged me on to do this challenge at a vendor booth, timing me to see how long it would take me to do 20 burpees. Bring you to the spot. Let's go. With a 44 pound Ram fitness weight. Ten, Go, dude. Ten more. One more. Ten. I, don't, I don't know why you stopped. Ten more. Ten more. Go. Go. Nine more. Finally, finishing up this challenge in one minute and 29 seconds. Two more. Go, go, go. Two more. Ah. Come on, finish this. Finish this. One more. One more. One more. Get her up there. Go, go, go. Yeah. <laughs> as well as getting my body analysis with body fat and all the stats, we parted ways at his friend's condo near the Bentway before I made the trek with my swag bag and all the fitness stuff inside of it. Walking my way all the way through downtown to meet up the wife at her workplace to see her before she went into night shift and drop off my bags full of stuff in the mini. Anyways, I'm just chilling at Young Dundas Square for the evening, listening to some live music performed by the X Factor Philippines Jarek Medina. <laughs> Before heading home to rest after a full day of wandering around on minimal sleep. So before going home last night, I visited this place on Young Street, similar to that of the place on Midland and Finch that I went with my family before, of which I'm hoping to check out the next time the little sister is back in downtown Toronto. But anyways, today, August the 19th, is actually a pretty special day in my memory. And that of course is completing the 3.8 kilometer swim, the 180 kilometer bike ride, and the 42.2 kilometer run, finishing in 2018 the Mont Tremblant Ironman race. So happy anniversary on that lifetime achievement to me. And on that note, in the spirit of celebrations, we'll do a quick birthday shout out to a buddy of mine from my YSIC days, who I'd always see training in the second floor gym. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Austin. Happy birthday, Austin. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your friends and family members are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But moving on, guys. Tonight, I have a dilemma. Between the time I got these tickets quite a while back, and forgetting that I got these for the wife on the same day, I currently have two pairs of tickets to two different concerts at the same time. So for the first time ever, feeling like a ticket scalper, I went on Ticketmaster to sell these tickets for the LL Cool J concert. And after taking a quick afternoon nap, I found out that these tickets were sold. Cha-ching! But the only thing that kind of irked me was that Ticketmaster kind of took a little bit of a cut, actually a 7% cut from me being the seller, and still have the audacity to charge the buyer of the tickets between $12 and $26 on their purchase. Shame on you, Ticketmaster. Which also means that Ticketmaster has taken and pocketed 20% of the transaction. Anywho, after spending the last hour and a half trying to do a quick study session, watching these videos on YouTube, as you guys can see here, of the five different albums that they currently have released, the wife and I are currently off to the Rogers Center to check out the five albums, one concert tour, concert of the Jonas Brothers. <laughs>
Yo, with my new Jonas Brothers shirt. Wait, how was the Jonas Brothers concert? So good. So good. Oh no, she doesn't have her shirt on. Show it, show it. It's good because she also has a Jonas Brothers shirt. So guys, post-concert, after witnessing the Jonas Brothers live and in person, the wife and I decided to go back to Scarborough to get some drive through McDonald's, as well as some other late night eats at a local place called The Fry, where we just couldn't wait to get our hands on their freshly made patented Korean fried chicken, eating it in the parking lot. Mmm. How's it? Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good when it's crunchy. Mmm. You really got it that too. But yeah, on to today. After doing this CanFit Pro workout a couple days back and getting a delayed onset of muscle soreness not just yesterday, but as well as this morning when I just woke up. Maybe it's because I had too much fun jumping around at the Jonas Brothers concert last night. I caught the Sunday morning mass at the nearby local St. Lawrence the Martyr Parish before being the professional chauffeur for the wife taking her to work a wedding coordinating event in the Queen Street West area. But anyways, at this time, I'm chilling in Mississauga to visit the in-laws to take a quick nap over at the Saga House before meeting up with my buddy Ronnie who we haven't seen since this Live From Last Week episode. But prior to doing that, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my Wysik friends who I remember playing tennis with at Moss Park several years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Gabby. Happy birthday, Gabby. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and they had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But moving on, it's time to finally meet up with Ronnie at a place that I've always wanted to go in Saga, meeting him at a local establishment here called Cooper's Pub. All right, cheers to Ronnie trying to do a full marathon in October. So after celebrating good times at the pub with Ronnie, Mike, and Mike's girlfriend, Amanda, even wishing her and celebrating with her a happy belated birthday, I drove back to the Don Mills area to pick up the wife and help Ramos find her keys to her car in the darkness of the parking lot. I'm just glad you found your keys. That was fun. But anyways, on to today, where I went to the kitchen to check out the fridge, finding this legendary treat that the brother-in-law had brought back with him from his most recent trip to Japan. My absolute favorite food when I was there, visiting four years ago, the one, the only, melon pan. And so this afternoon, with the wife, we had our first taste of this melon pan for the first time in over four years. Oh. <laughs> Try it. Mm, there it is. There's the melon pan. It's the cream. Oh, it's on the other side. Oh, it exploded? Yeah. Thanks, Josh. Arigato gozaimasu. Thanks, Josh. Arigato gozaimasu. And Caroline. And Caroline. Moving on tonight, before going for my first night shift in a set of three, potentially doing seven shifts in the next nine days, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made during my World Youth Day trip back in 2011. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Nadeline. Happy birthday, Nadeline. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And so, with that guys, before I finish up the rest of this delicious melon pang, we're just going to wrap up this week's episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.